Hey everybody, welcome to day two of the Golden Goblet. I had a, I had a ton of fun yesterday uh, with, with chess. Today we're playing checkers. Um, I, it might surprise you. You're like, hey, you're pretty good at chess. You must be amazing at checkers. False. I am... Uh, I, I don't know checkers strategy. I mean, I would say I probably, as a child, won about 50% of the time. But... I mean, isn't this a game that if you move perfectly is just decided by, like, who goes first or who goes second? I, I honestly don't know. I, I prioritize... Uh, of course, you gotta go for the... You gotta go for the corners, right? Let's see. Really, we would we would be hoping that maybe Big Burn One will make a mistake, but now I, I'm gonna be honest. I was like a little anxious. Let, let's get some board control here. I was a little anxious about uh, about chess because I know there's some expectations that I'm a good player, and to lose in chess would have been setting the tone badly. If I lose checkers, I do not care. Burn. Burn, you gotta you gotta take the piece. I set up a position where you gotta you gotta capture my piece. In in checkers, you gotta jump. When you get the chance to jump, you gotta jump. It's a, I'm not upset. It's just a nice casual game for us to play. But um, so I think I, maybe now that I'm looking at checkers with some adult eyes. Hold on. If I'm, I, I'm, I'm realizing that it's a game of, like, board control. You know, if I can get further ahead, that means I have more space for my pieces to move before they actually end up, uh, move it, being forced to move into a position where I have to make a mistake. So I think here, I've got a, I got a setup. I'm gonna force his, uh, my, my goal at least, is I'm gonna force that left corner piece to make a jump. And then I'll move here. Hold on, I gotta walk this through now. I force this piece to make a jump. A blump. He ends up here. I take him. He goes here. I have no means to protect my existing piece. But you know what? Let, let's give him the chance to, to screw this up. I think we got more space to work with than he does. I, I like to play an aggressive game. I like to get the game solved as soon as possible. Burn. Burn, you can't do that. That's not... that You can't... You gotta jump my piece, Burn. I appreciate the avatar burn. You gotta, you gotta jump my piece. I don't want you. I don't want you to get timed out, burn. That would be a way that I would hate to win. By the way, sometimes people go like, you know, oh, you must feel like really proud of yourself. You go and log on to Clubhouse Games and like dunk on ten-year-olds in checkers and chess. Um, no, I wouldn't say that I'm proud of myself. All that I would say is that the alternative situation. Uh, I've I've kind of screwed up here. I think maybe not. Maybe not. Um, the alternative situation is you log into Clubhouse Games and get dunked on by ten-year-olds. So, of the of the two options, you know, you got me. You got me, you son of a gun. No, you didn't. I was incorrect. Of the two options, this one is uh, is preferable to me. So let's develop this here. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a good spot. I feel like I got a lot of I got a lot of corner play here. I feel like I've also set up a lot of runs, <laughs> potentially. Um, yeah, it's it's spooky. The man said, "Give me something spooky." But we, I think, I don't know. I think he might have more moves. Oh no! Oh no! Burn. He knows. Maybe he doesn't know. I think if he moves to the right, he could bait me into giving him a, a double jump that kings a piece. That kings a piece. Lucky us. Lucky us, dude. I got ideas. It's not- I'm not gonna time out in checkers because I'm tryharding. You're gonna time out in checkers because you're tryharding. We want to avoid run-based situations. That's- that's the big one. Okay, go for it, you son of a gun. Go for it, you son of a gun! Things are about to get real, real dangerous.
and not for not for him for me I just need come on burn come on burn just slip up wouldn't it be nice to just have this game be over so we can go back to playing Ludo <laughs> This is okay. All the checkers grandmasters watching this right now. What are you doing? You haven't even done Philian's Gambit yet. I don't know Philian's Gambit, okay? All I'm saying is, uh, you know, there's a world chess championship. I don't know if there's a world checkers championship. You have made your last mistake, Burn. King. king me. Is this my king? Oh, he's he's in full tilt mode. You can tell. It's it's over. <laughs> it might not be over, but it's is looking pretty good. I am forced to jump, which is very acceptable to me. Realizing the real value of a king is the fact that you can move it when you could otherwise be forced to move a piece you didn't want to move. You get what I'm what I'm saying there? Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to cruise to a two-point setup. 2-0 two and oh in the Golden Goblet. And nobody's more stunned than me. I, I really did not think... Uh, I didn't think it could happen. Well, I, I mean, I was confident I had a good chance in chess. But... Uh, honestly, I think if we just move past you, you got nothing to do. Um, in in checkers, I was like, I'm probably 50-50. But I think that we've we've gotten lucky, and again, I don't know, man. Maybe we didn't end up playing against the best opponent in checkers, but at the same time, that's an aspect. That's an aspect of the of the RNG. We didn't have equal competition in Warzone either. I mean, there's no way for us to know. I might have had the easiest, to be fair. I got no idea. King me. Big burn. I mean, I I see what you're doing here, burn. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm just going to let you know, I don't really think I can stop it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move this boy down here. And then when you move past me, um, I'm just going to do this. And I know you're going you're gonna to start to come for these pieces, you know? It, it is what it is. I'm going to let you get two kings so that I can have... Uh, so that I can have four. Five, actually. And if you want to... If you want to capture my other pieces, if you want to capture my orphaned pieces, you can only get the one. The the hanging chad over there. So I guess like I don't I don't think I've played in a checkers endgame since 1998. I really don't know how we get the kings to get captured. I think we, we maintain a certain degree of board control and then just close in on them. And it's almost like um, like in chess when you uh, when you have like two rooks and you're trying to get a mate, or like uh, two bishops and a knight and you're trying to get a mate. Like we just gotta we just gotta force his hand and not have our hand get forced because really like one bad jump could create a serious problem for him for us I should say so I'm, I'm legitimately just going to let um, King me. my other two pieces be in danger and then we'll we'll see how you wish to proceed here well I, I guess you could just do this and then the man is forced to jump I mean you moved up there in the first place burn it wasn't my intention to BM you is he gonna don't do it don't do it he did it. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad for Big, Big Burn 1, but I'm also overjoyed for myself personally. <laughs> to go to 2-0 oh 
in the golden goblet. It feels quite nice, honestly. It feels quite nice. I'll, I'll fit in another checkers game here. I'm not going to hit you with a 10-minute video where we play one game of checkers against an 8-year-old. Look at that. 100% win rate, baby. Let me see what's coming up tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Ludo. All right, I'll, I'll book an hour out of my schedule to get a Ludo game done today as well. <laughs> it's, uh, that's a long one. What, nobody's, nobody's playing checkers right now? Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll play either... I don't want to play something we're going to have to play later because it'll burn up some of the enjoyment, right? Let's get air hockey, checkers, and uh, what else are people interested in playing? Let's, uh, let's hit him with some toy tennis, which I, I'm going to admit to you I've never played in my life before. Um, let's see how this goes. Oh, I think we got somebody. Toy tennis. It's a two-game match versus Hammy. <laughs> um, again, I, I understand it in principle. I don't think I've ever experienced it personally, but... A two-game match. Okay, I'm assuming you, you move with the, with the analog stick. Okay, all, all right, that was honestly very good. Is there like a forehand back? There is a forehand backhand. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I see your game plan. I see your game plan. Okay, okay. Look, you, you're, you're dominating at the, at the net. There's no doubt about that. You know what? This one, I'm, let's just say I'm glad that Toy Tennis is not in the... Oh. I'm glad Toy Tennis isn't involved in... Oh, the production of it to begin with, because I don't think this is my game. I like tennis games a lot, but... This one's, uh... This one needs a little bit more than I'm giving it right now. I get it! I get it! It's all timing, baby. It's all timing. All right. Well, fair enough. I really thought we were going to have the comeback of the century. All right. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back tomorrow to play some Ludo, and I'll see you then. Oh, by the way, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And, of course, goldengoblet.net, and go check in on uh, Malf and Dan's progress at their own YouTube channels, and I'll see you then. See ya.